Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 4.15. In this problem, it is given that knowing that for extruded beam shown, the allowable stresses is 20 ksi in tension and 16 ksi in compression. Determine the largest couple M that can be applied. So, this is the cross section of beam, this is the moment, and you have to find this moment uh, for given tensile stresses and compressive stresses so uh, maximum stress compression stress sigma c that is given 16 ksi and tensile stress that is given as 12 ksi again you have to find the stress in that stress as we know the stress is equal to m y divided by i clear or mc divided by minus so if you find the absolute so absolute will be equal to m y divided by i here we have to find the moment so moment will be equal to stress into i divided by y so again this is very simple problem here the uh, tensile and compressive stress are given you have to find moment of inertia and y so this is the same problem if i draw the cross section over here this beam is like that so you can see again if this is one this will also one this in because all or this and this is two so for finding the uh, moment of inertia i will write a table just like one member and two member their a their area and their y naught distance and their product of area into y naught because we are going to find the centroid of this beam so for that we have to follow this procedure so if you look the first member this this is i1 this is one this is also one because these are same so 2 so area of this first member is 0 0.5 multiply by 1.5 which is equal to 0 0.5 multiply by 1.5 which is 0 0.75 so these are three areas so we will multiply 0 0.75 multiply by 3 so the, the area will be 2.25 square inch and why not is the distance from if this is the reference so why not is distance from uh, this point till the mid so total is this is 1.5 clear so 1.5 and this is 0.5 so total is 2 clear so so the half of 1.5 is 0 0.75 so this is 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.5 so the sum of this will be 1.25 so 1.25 so this distance from this point till this point this is y not 1 y not 1 clear so this is 1.25 now for member 2 this is member 2 so total width of this member 2 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 gamma 0 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 so this will be total 4.5 so so i will write this distance from this point till this point is 4.5 inch and its uh, height is 0 0.5 so the area will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 4.5 which is again 2.25 now height of this number 2 is from this point till this so this is y not 2 why not 2 and total height is 0 0.5 you can see this is 0 0.5 so it will be 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 again when you multiply this with this that will be 2.8125 and you multiply this with this that will give you 0 0.5625 now I will need sum of all the areas that is equal to 4.50 and sum of 
product of area into y naught that will give you 3.375 now as we know that uh, for finding the centroidal uh, centroid of our centroidal axis the location of centroidal axis that is equal to some sum of product of area into y naught divided by sum of area so when you will put the value 3.375 divide by 4.50 that comes out to be 0.75 inch now what does it mean it means that the centroid of this beam is 0.75 from the reference line so this will be its centroidal and this distance is y which is equal to 0.75 inch means your centroidal axis is this one now uh, we have this value of uh, cent uh, we have find the uh, centroid location of centroidal axis uh, we will go uh, that from this is your centroidal axis now from centroidal axis to the top this distance is uh, how much this will be the y top and this y top will be equal to y top will be equal to 2 minus 0 0.75 inch that is equal to 1.25 inch now what does it mean it means that this total distance from this point to till this point this total is 2 inch you can see this is 1.5 and this so total is 2 inch so when you divide uh, when you subtract 2 inch when you subtract 0 0.75 from 2 so this top y top will be equal to this distance will be equal to 1.25 inch similarly y bottom will be equal to minus 0 0.75 inch why because this is the centroidal axis and from centroidal axis to the bottom that is 0 0.75 now we will find the moment of inertia that for member 1 that is equal to 1 over 12 its breadth is its breadth is 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 we will write in a single instant you write separate for this and this and this and then you add it will be a lengthy one so just for simply we will write 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 into height is 1.5 so 1.5 whole cube plus ad square area is 2.25 and d is now this is the first member this is the first member so its total height is 1.7 1.5 so its d will be equal to 0 0.5 how because this is uh, 0 0.75 and its height will be this distance will be 1 point, uh, 0 0.75 again and the remaining this distance will be 0 0.5 because uh, if you see that this is uh, 1.5 so it will be this distance will be 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.5 which is 1.25 so if you divide 1.25 uh, if you subtract 1 0 0.75 one, one point, from 1.25 1, 1 that will give you 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 whole square so i1 for both three portion will be equal to 0 0.984 inch 4 now for i2 as we know that i2 is equal to 1 over 12 its total breadth is 4.5 inch and its height is 0 0.5 whole cube clear so this is its total width 4.5 and its height is 0 0.5 plus area of a2 will be equal to 2.25 and its distance is again 0 0.5 whole square because this is uh, this total distance is 0 0.75 and when you subtract this 0 0.25 from this, this is 0 0.25 so the remaining distance will be 0 0.5
so again if you calculate it it comes out to be 0.609 inch oh. now total moment of inertia is equal to i1 plus i2 which is equal to 0.984 plus 0.609 then this i comes out to be 1.593 1.593 inch oh. now the problem is very easy so as we know that uh, this moment will be equal to stress into i divided by y modulus so for uh, for compression or top that is in compression we have this m is equal to sigma compression i divided by y top so sigma compression is 16 this i is 1.593 and distance y top that is written over here 1.25 so moment for compression against compression comes out to be 20.4 kips into inch now again the same procedure will be repeated for tension for bottom bottom that is in tension this m will be equal to sigma tension into i divided by y bottom and that is equal to 12 into i is uh, 1.593 and y bottom is 0 0.75 modulus so this comes out to be 25.5 kips into inch so we have this moment is equal to 25.5 kips into inch so this is the moment that is due to the tension force now we have two value of moments one and two so while designing the beam you have to select you have to select smaller value of i uh, moment m next smaller value of bending moment that is m so for that we will select m is equal to 20.4 kips into inch so this is the right answer of the power problem so allowable so we will call it allowable because this is allowed for the this given condition of stresses maximum end. so this movement allowable movement is equal to 20.4 kips into inch thank you for watching the video